Hi guys, it's Mark from AnyPond.com, you're a trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features and today I'm in the content cabin here at Pond College and um, today we're talking about protection from predators. A lot of people ask me what do I do for protection against predators. So it could be that in the autumn and the spring that you want to protect the pond from a heron. And what I do, if I'm building a professionally installed um, ecosystem pond, like the one we've got behind me on this illustration, and I want to protect the fish, then what I'll do is I'll put in a fish cave, and I will purposely build that in to the rocks and gravel on the actual, in the construction process. I've used aqua blocks in the past. I've created a barrier reef. I've stacked them up before in great big lakes to stop cormorants attacking the fish where this particular one on an ornamental pond is a lot better and it looks great. And what this is, is it's, this is an actual cave that we can just simply drop into the bottom of the pond, an opportunity for them to swim straight through or hide. There's lots of holes um, and it looks fantastic. We're creating a safe place for the fish to hide. If you're building the pond, then you can build this into the side of the pond if you've got it, an established pond, then you can simply just drop this fish cave or fish tunnel into the actual pond and protect the fish. It looks like a log on the bottom of a pond. A lot of these predators, they don't like movement. They don't like sound. They don't like the noise from people. A talk radio show, a radio that's triggered by movement. There are digital devices out there that will scare the predators away. There's ones that shoot water. There's even ones with lasers now that make the laser shows. Also lights, you know, like security lights will stop herons. There's also decoys that you can have out by your pond, which the predators, they don't know that they're not real. You know, I've touched on herons before. So if you want to see the heron video, look in the description below about the using a heron decoy to stop herons coming down. Swans, because swans are very territorial, so they'll actually shoo away anything. There's some alligators as well, which is obviously from across the pond. We don't really have alligators or caiman in the UK, but it's another decorative item. When I put a, an alligator on my large pond here at Pond College, the dog was barking at it for about 15 minutes because of the teeth, I think, and also the movement. You can even get hawks, you know, with big eyes. Another thing that I haven't touched on is a fence. If you're trying to stop predators from getting at the fish, fishing line around the pond to stop a heron. It's a physical barrier. It depends really on the specific predator. If you've got otters or mink around your pond, then a fish cave or a fish tunnel, it only goes so far. And then what you need to do is you need to think about electric fences. So let's go over there now and have a look at an electric fence. So what we've got here is we've got an electric fence that goes round this koi pond because we had an otter that came in and wiped out a load of the fish. So an electric fence to keep the otters out is the only way that you can keep them from eating your ornamental fish. Now a lot of people love otters. I love them in a natural environment. You know, if they're in a stream, if they're in um, the sea, plants are a great thing. I actually let the plants go wild in the winter because it actually protects the fish from predator attacks. And also the rotten vegetation in certain circumstances provide a little bit of heat as well. So my name is Mark, the Pond Advisor, and I'm here to support you, dream, plan and enjoy ponds and water features. Till next time, thanks for watching.